Hey team, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here we have a behind the scenes how I created the data to even use this project. I test to see if the product table is available. If it does, I delete it. I create the table, I insert data, and I select data from it. It's that simple. Let's dive into transactions. Notice when I say select star from products, I get some products and I get some costing. And because I don't have any backups, when I execute a command like this, which would be an error, it just went and updated my database. All my prices are now 250. So my table has been updated. I have all these bad data points and imagine I had 100,000 rows. So how do we prevent this type of error? Well, first let us recover this current environment. And luckily you saw the first part of this video where I have a script and it can go and fix my database for me. Now you'd be wishing that this existed in this environment and it kind of does with this begin tran. So with begin tran, what it does is it saves us from this type of error. So when I say begin tran, well, let's look at the data one more time. Make sure we're back to whole. Notice we got all original pricing. And then I say begin tran. Now what begin tran is saying to SQL Server, the user is about to execute a insert, update, or delete command and make a mark in the database that says, hey, all records before this, let's save them. Now I'm going to go and execute this update everything to 250. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot to do the bottom line, line 15. Let me go see what happened to the database. Everything got executed to 250. Well, I can do the rollback command. And notice I'm back to the original prices. Now you saw when I did not have begin trend and I did the update statement, there was no recovery. So begin tran set a save point in the database and it said every transaction inside of this scope, let's preserve the data. And then the user has two options. He can either roll back or they can commit those changes to the database. Now, right now you might not know, are we in, still inside of a transaction? So there's a thing called a tran count add at tran count and they'll tell you whether or not you're inside of a transaction and notice right now we're zero if we begin a transaction and then do the same command it will show us that we're inside of one so now i will just go update one line i will go see the data and notice just one line changed now if i hit rollback that takes us back to 200. Let's do a commit this time. So I'm going to begin trans and execute my update statement. I'm going to get a tran count. It should be one. And then I'm going to do a commit. I'm going to do another tran count. It should be zero. And I'm going to go look at my data. We got to 250. And that is the basic begin trans. Let's see how a begin transaction can affect other users. Now, other users can be more than just people. They can be processes. An example, imagine you had a corporate website and that website is showing information like prices of products or anything. So normally a enterprise database has got many users using it concurrently. So you can imagine that I say update this product where ID is 1 to 250. Notice right now it's at 200. Let's do a begin tran. Notice that I have a one transaction. Now another user comes in here and he wants to look at price 2. And he does an execute and he says, oh great. How about price 3? Oh great. Oh, let me just go get all the product. Oh, look at this. He, he's There's a lock over here. Look at this. My train count is set to one. This record ID one is got a lock on it. And over here he's waiting and he will continue waiting until this transaction either does a rollback or commit. Let's do a rollback and then watch this execute immediately. So you see that the scope of a lock is very narrow. 
When I was looking at records that weren't in the lock conditions, remember like rows ID 2 and 3, I was able to see that data. As soon as I said select where, you know, no where clause, the ID 1 was in that set and there was a lock on that set. So whoever is using that set, like a website or a user, they're waiting. They have to wait. So we looked at record locking, but we need as a programmer of the ability to go look at the data kind of like the way it is right now. Unfortunately, right now, when someone does a uh, begin trend, we can get a phenomenon that's called a dirty read. And I'm going to explain that with a demo. I don't even need to really use words here. It's going to make so much sense. So notice here, I'm going to say update cost 250. Notice right now it says 200. I'm going to begin transat. And then over here, I'm going to use a thing called a no lock. And I'm going to go get all that. Now I'm in a transaction over here. Notice there's one running, but I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say select product, no log. Do you remember last time it kind of went all busy down here? Watch what happens. Oh, look at that. It went and got all the data. Now, can you imagine this was a query on your production website? And did I commit this transaction over here? No. The price in the database is 200, but this transaction kind of like bled through. And now this is called a, it's dirty data. 250 has not been committed. Now the user over here says, roll back. Now my trend count is zero, but my website is still saying 250. It's not 250, it's only 200. And then he might do an update on the screen and then it's back to 200. But you see there for those minutes, the price was $250. So when you're inside of a transaction, you have to be in and out as soon as possible. Very, very in out transactions. That's the way they work. So let's take one more look at begin tran with a update. And we can say product with no lock and get the records. We can also say product with read uncommitted. But remember, there is some risk using this. You have to understand the risk of this no lock or read uncommitted because of the dirty read problem. So proceed with caution. Let's say you have been warned and if you use it, you're kind of using it at your own risk. So there you have it, team. You have been officially introduced to transactions. Congrats. I hope you were able to see how they can protect you just in case you make a boo-boo.